It's important to understand the various parts of the My Courses ePortfolio. This tutorial will explain how to navigate the ePortfolio. To access the ePortfolio, you click on the Reports tab on the navbar and click ePortfolio. You'll be taken to the ePortfolio dashboard. Here you can view and access your RSS feeds, your news feed. This is the news feed here showing you if there's been any comments by other people or any comments by you. You can view your settings here. Uh, you can create and upload some items. And then you can also look at invitations. So if you've been, if somebody else is sharing their ePortfolio, you can look at the invitations and accept those invitations. Go ahead and click on the My Items tab. I think this is one of the more important areas because in this area you can create and upload new items. You can view items and filter by type. You can filter items by shared or unshared if you've shared them. You can see what items have been shared or shared by groups. Uh, you can add items to presentation in bulk and we'll show you that in one of the tutorials. And then you can also access the go to import or export so where you can export this. So in terms of navigating this, the best thing is this filter by which is underneath the row of buttons. The filter by can help you find a presentation or collection more easily because as you add all kinds of artifacts you'll notice there's going to be a load more and there's going to be more and more that you're going to add over time and it's very difficult to find things. So one of the best things to do is to find your presentations is you just click on the name and that will filter all of what you see by, pre by what you're choosing. If you want to choose also collections, you'll be able to see that. So you can choose more than one item to do that. To unfilter it or get rid of the filter, just click on the item and then it goes back to the way it was. The other nice thing you have in the My Items area is this search uh, My Items. So here you can just type in some keywords or if you know a particular item that you're looking for, you can actually type in that word and press the ent the, the um, enter key this will do take that search string and show you the results show you how many items are in there you can then edit those items and do whatever you want with those when you want to get rid of the search you click on the X and it'll go back to all of the items being shown so that's the best way to navigate and to find items in the ePortfolio